Hi there and welcome. In today's video, I am showing you a shoulder and pec time massage stretch. And this is an integral, wonderful part of our 30 day time massage challenge where we are learning all kinds of amazing techniques to help open up and massage the neck and the shoulder. There are so many incredible benefits to this stretch. It not only helps to release tension and create some space in the shoulders, but it also does it for the pecs, which is essentially the front of the shoulders. And then it's like a chain reaction, opening up and releasing tension in that area, makes space in the neck, down the arm, and even into the whole back. So I can't wait to share this one with you. Just before we do, if you are brand new to the challenge, don't forget subscribe to the channel and click on the bell next to the subscribe button so they get notifications every time I post a new video about our challenge. So if you've been keeping up with the challenge, you know that the last couple things we did was a nice shoulder rotation, some wonderful circles for the shoulder, and then we gave the neck a really nice massage as well. So our partner is already on their side, and from here, we are going to do our shoulder and pec stretch. Now, if you can sit in diamond, then that's great. Then position yourself in that diamond stance. If you need to, you can take a pillow or a bolster and tuck it between your heels and your bum for a little more support, taking pressure off your knees. You can also though, if that doesn't work for you, just sit comfortably however you can. But when you are getting set up, one thing that's important is that you have a very gentle contact between your leg that's next to their back and their body. You wanna have some contact. That helps to make an anchor so that the shoulder has a little bit of resistance to actually create a nice stretch and a nice opening. I'm going to do this one in diamond. I'm going to have my seat. And then we're going to take the arm, that's the top arm, and really what we want to do is bring it up above the head and behind them. You can do this with one hand, although generally I like to do it with two hands. That arm is heavy and it gets heavier the longer we hold it. So the way I'm doing this is, again, with our short pauses and then bringing it back. So as the first time we do it, I would say let's aim for about a 45 degree angle. And again, start with those short pauses for about two or three seconds. And now that I'm on my third one, I'm doing this for five or ten seconds. And release and check in. This is a really good one to check in and see if they want a little bit more of a stretch. So those first couple of times, we purposefully want to make it less than what we think is their full limit. And then I'll check in. Would you like a little bit more? No, that's great. So that's great. So we found a good range for her. And so I'll just hold it here and release. And then we basically just do the same thing but we can try other angles. So now I'm going a little bit more behind her. It's more of like closer to a 90 degree angle as I stretch. And release. And repeat. And then I can try an angle that's closer to her head. And as long as the arm doesn't resist and allows you to take it there, then you know that you found a good angle and you know that you can play with it and experiment with it. And as you finish up, we're gonna bring the arm back down and even on the side of their body and sweep it out, circle it out. After a nice deep stretch, it's nice to do something soft and soothing. So at this point, we have now learned shoulder rotations and neck massage and now the shoulder and pec stretch all with your partner lying on their side. So it just makes a lot of sense that as you start to practice and put this all together to combine it and start with putting your partner on their side, 
practice the shoulder rotation, then do the neck massage that are part of the last video of the challenge, and now add in this sweet stretch as well. And with this shoulder and pec stretch that opens up this area, we are targeting these muscles right in the front of the shoulder, which are the opposites of the muscles in the back of the shoulder. And so we are basically working with this principle of working with agonist and antagonist muscles, these muscles that work in combination with each other, just like a, a bicep and a tricep does, so do these pec muscles with the muscles in the back of the shoulder. So if you are someone who has a lot of shoulder issue and a lot of neck issue and this is where you feel it, doing good things to release and create openings here not only helps this area but it's a chain reaction here. So practice it, enjoy it and feel all the benefits and then keep putting it together with everything that you've been learning in the Thai Massage Challenge. So at this point, as we're getting close to the end of the challenge, is really just one more technique that I'm gonna show you. If you haven't been practicing at all from the beginning yet, you're gonna to wanna to be doing that very soon. And to help you with that, we have that free guide, which also has the flow sheet with the list of everything that we are doing with images as well. So you print that out and it becomes so easy to remember and put it all together. And there's a link down below to get that. Otherwise, if you want videos that are a guided practice that take you through the whole challenge from start to finish every step of the way, then become a Patreon supporter and here's the link to sign up for that. And for even more support, please check out my program, Transformational Time Massage, where you can get certified in giving time massage and not only learning shoulder and neck treatments, but treatments for the whole body. But for now, I want to wish you amazing massages give this amazing stretch, start to combine it with everything that we're doing in the challenge and you're gonna see such incredible results. Thanks so much.